If you want to know how the belly flop maneuver is connected to the current testing campaign of Starships in Boca Chica, then stay tuned and watch this video. Hello and welcome back to Alex SpaceX Talks. Today, with my second video of the SpaceX ABC series, letter B for belly flop maneuver. May 5th in 2021 marked the first successful test flight and landing attempt of a Starship prototype. Starship prototype SN15 had been propelled by three Raptor engines to an altitude of approximately 11 kilometers. The landing marked the first successful touchdown of a Starship prototype after three failed attempts. Now I am going to explain to you how the belly flop maneuver is connected to those test flights. To best visualize this, I will show you a compiled video of all the test flight attempts from Starship prototypes SN8 to SN15. After the Starship prototype had been properly filled with methane and oxygen, the test flight started with the ignition of three Raptor engines. 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. The prototype had then been propelled to an altitude of approximately 11 kilometers into the Boca Chicken sky. One after another, the Raptor engines shut down and the acceleration of the prototype came to a halt. This is where our belly flop maneuver comes into play. The prototype slightly rotated, made a flip and started to fall back to Earth. Almost like a skydiver, it fell through the clouds with a controlled maneuver. Soon before touching the ground, the Starship prototype ignited two of its three Raptor engines, bringing it back into a vertical position and further on slowing it down to achieve the first successful landing of a Starship prototype ever. The cheering of the SpaceX workers at Boca Chica was immense and it was a huge success for SpaceX. <laughs> The belly flop maneuver is a vital part for future landings of starships on Mars and on other planets. By bringing starship into an almost horizontal position, it reduces speed when entering the atmosphere of Mars, for instance. The speed will be further reduced until the Raptor engines take care of the rest, slowing the starship further down until it smoothly touches down on Mars' surface. For over a year now, SpaceX fans around the world, myself of course included, had been desperately waiting for the next test flight to happen. Currently, Starship prototype SN24 and Super Heavy prototype Booster 7 are still being prepared and stacked in Boca Chica for the first orbital test flight to take place. If the FAA grants permission to SpaceX to further on conduct those testing campaigns in Boca Chica, then I am really confident that we should be seeing the first orbital test flight of a fully stacked Starship onto a super heavy booster by the end of this year. Well, that was all for today, folks. My next ABC series video will be letter C, cryogenic proof test. If you want to know what this test is all about and how it is related to the Starship testing campaign, then please hit the bell to get notified when I upload this video. In the meantime, I wish you all a wonderful week and see you soon in my next video. Go SpaceX, go Starship, ciao!